Why you pulling all these rapper cards? Cutty nigga, pussy and a heart. I grew up in the streets without no heart. <laughs> hey, hey, praying to my Glock that be my. Hey, hey man. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Your boy BZ got a motherfucking topic that I need to motherfucking talk about. Some shit that I need to get off of my chest. You smell me? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me view who checking in. We're going to let a few, a few motherfuckers check in first. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to give y'all motherfuckers a quick rundown, man. You know what I'm saying? Really, you know, I don't fuck with Chief Keith on no shit like that. But uh, on, on his song type shit, that's that shit I don't like. I to let y'all know the do's and don'ts, man, around bees. It really, we ain't gonna get into the do's, you know, because basically all you gotta do is be yourself and be a real motherfucker around me. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of shit that you can't do around me. You see me? So, let these views bum up a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna get this conversation going. Oh, come on, come on. I'm going ahead and light up. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. Now, let me tell y'all something. When I want to disrespect a motherfucker, I just do it just like that. I disrespect the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I don't sugarcoat it. I don't um, beat around the bush. I don't do that pillow talking shit. I don't do no shit like that. I'm a real upfront nigga. So if I got a problem with a bituation or a person, I'm going to let it be known. b out. You know what I'm talking about? Front street shit. That's how I rock. Alright, so let me let y'all motherfucking know something. I know it's a lot of bros and a lot of sis out here, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of homies, a lot of family members of mine, you know what I'm saying? That's going through a lot of shit right now, you know what I'm saying? I don't I, don't, I never know what a motherfucker is going through. Um But let me tell y'all something. Beezy got a lot of motherfucking shit he go through too. You smell me? Beezy got a whole bunch of motherfucking shit that he go to. That he go through, you know what I'm saying? On not on a daily basis, but nigga on a, a, a hourly basis. Sometimes on a minute basis, you know what I'm saying? Always, I constantly got shit popping up. You know what I'm saying? I got a family to feed, nigga. I'm the only male in my family that's doing shit, that's doing anything. You smell me? So let me break this shit down to y'all. I know y'all view me with a whole bunch of goddamn, you know what I'm saying, nigga, my, I get in my flex mode a lot. I get in my flex mode a lot. Nigga pull out a bump of bands, you know what I'm saying, nigga might pull out 30 bands, nigga might pull out 40 bands, nigga might pull out a, a house, nigga might pull out a car, you know what I'm saying, it's just in my pocket. But let me tell you something, man, I'm out here getting it. I'm out here doing this shit for a motherfucking reason. This shit is not falling into my motherfucking hands. Uh, I'm not printing this shit off of no motherfucking computer, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and motherfuckers ain't giving me shit. So basically what I'm trying to let y'all know is, just because y'all view me with a whole bunch of money and shit, bro, please don't start this shit to where everybody is jumping on me like, bro, let me get this, let me get this, bro, let me hold this, let me hold this. Now, I'm not going to blame you for asking. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously if you're asking, you must be somebody that feel like we got a good enough connection where you could do that. But bro, if I say no, don't fucking look at me and, and or say no no brazy ass shit like, damn bro, it's like that or like that. Nigga, first of all, my problem your problems is not my problems. My problems is not your problems. Our problems is no one else's problems. They're our problems. So you supposed to really handle that shit yourself. You know what I'm saying? I never asked anybody for nothing. You know what I'm talking about? And that's why. I go so hard on this bullshit and you know what I'm saying this mob life the slogan is bullshit because I believe in everybody should be their own motherfucking boss so I just want to let everybody know you know what I'm saying I don't be bumming at y'all on no sideways shit but I feel like y'all be bumming at me on some sideways shit when you ask me for something and I give you a a, a different answer than what you wanted and then you looking at me funny like oh bro it's like that or damn bro why you acting like that? I'm not acting no motherfucking way. I got a fucking family to feed, nigga. Do you not know these bills bump every fucking month? Not only my bills, my sisters, my aunties, my, my, my mom's bill, nigga. Car notes, nigga. All of this shit flows every month. So I don't, I don't understand how y'all think I could give some bread to somebody that's not even uh, family affiliated or blood affiliated. Like y'all like tripping, bro. 
You feel me? So like I said, I'm not going to trip on y'all for asking. Because you can always ask. You know what I'm saying? But when I give y'all motherfuckers an answer, don't look at me sideways or, you know what I'm saying, say nothing like, damn, bro, it's like that. Because if it was like that, I would have chumped you off as soon as you asked me, like, why the fuck are you even asking me for something? Why the fuck you ain't getting it yourself? You know what I'm saying? Have I ever asked you for anything? And I know the response is going to be no, because I don't ask motherfuckers for shit, bro. For real. Bro. I had to get that out of my chest real quick, man, because my inboxes and shit from Instagram to Facebook to Twitter, shit be filled with motherfuckers that I ain't, like, really, I don't even know who half of these motherfuckers be. You know what I'm saying? I look at their profile pictures and shit, they face be looking familiar, but for, for a motherfucker to ask me for some money and shit like that, like, come on, man, y'all gotta, y'all gotta goddamn sit down and... Think about what the fuck you really doing and think about if somebody did y'all like that, would y'all really give a motherfucker bread when you got a family and shit to feed? Would you take food and money out of their motherfucking mouths and out of their household to put in strangers' household? You smell me? But real nigga shit, man, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers might not like this and I honestly don't give a fuck. That must mean y'all might be some leeching motherfuckers. I'm just trying to keep this shit 100 and keep this shit real. Stop depending on other motherfuckers. Other motherfucker problem is not... I, uh, your problems and your problems is not other motherfucker problem. Handle that shit yourself. Be grown about it. Get up, get a job, go do whatever the fuck you gotta do. Sell pussy. I don't give a fuck what the fuck y'all do, but don't don't depend on another motherfucker or put your burden on another motherfucker to give you some money or to, to help you with your bitchuation. Cause it's not their motherfucking problem, dog. You that's between you and that man upstairs. Real talk. Real shit. Hey, Prince Glow, you already know what it is, man. I'm just on this motherfucker speaking facts, man. You know what I'm saying? Sunny facts. It's a sunny day, so I'm speaking sunny facts. That's all going on, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, Nita. For real, man. I'm just trying to really put everybody up on game. You know what I'm talking about? Because this shit, this shit is getting old, man. You know, and then when motherfuckers start to pop off, niggas start to hit tour and get on the radio and all that. Motherfuckers want to start hitting them with that old oh, bro acting funny now. No, nigga acting the same. You know what I'm saying? Niggas out here getting it, bro. We ain't got this shit to just... We ain't we ain't taking these chances and making these sacrifices to just give this shit away, bro. You smell me? Shit, I got a lot of family members that's still struggling right now, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to hold this weight. I'm trying to hold the weight that I can on my shoulders, nigga. I'm not going to fucking kill myself or break my back with trying to hold three months. You smell me? For real. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't get offended by this motherfucking message. I'm just being 100, and I'm just addressing everybody. So, all of these messages can stop in my inbox and phone calls, text messages, anything. All this shit can stop. I don't have shit to give y'all. I got a family to give my shit to and a business to give my shit to. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't have it to give to y'all. So, y'all could debt that whole shit. And, um, on that note, you know what I'm saying? Shit. The same thing with the free show shit. Dead that. That shit is a dub now. Don't inbox me. Don't hit me up. I'm not bumming to your events. I don't give a fuck. If I fuck with you that much, you ain't even gonna have to ask me to bum in your events. So if you gotta ask me, that means just keep that shit to yourself, bro. Because I'm not fucking with it. On the mob. Water, water. I did hit the cup like that. That right. Do that. Do that, Glow. Real shit. Do that. That's right. Yeah. Hey, Nita, you right about that. You got to surround yourself. You got to surround yourself with people. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be people that got the exact mindset as you or the same exact mindset. But you know what I'm saying? You got to surround yourself with people that have vision. That's what we're going to say. Because a lot of these niggas talk a lot of shit, but that's all they do is talk. They don't really do shit because they don't have no vision. They can't really picture themselves being right next to Puff Daddy and not asking for a fucking autograph or not even fucking really paying attention to that nigga. They can't imagine shit like that. You got to surround yourself with those people that can do that. You know what I'm saying? And until you find them, 
don't settle for fucking with these pussy niggas. Just rock solo dolo until it's time and you link up with the motherfuckers that's got the same mindset as you. You smell me? Real nigga shit. The mob heavy in the streets, man. You know what I'm saying? But we got protocols to everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything. For real, for real. Hey, shout out to my lean man. Keep a nigga on that old. Eat to my. Yeah, yay. Y'all can tell goddamn the lean starting to kick in because bees ain't turned up as he usually be, is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that right, Nita. You ain't lying about that. Yeah, you, you ain't lying about that, man. But, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, I don't even look for him no more. You know what I'm saying? Like like me, you know what I'm saying? I don't got nobody checking for me. It's about the record labels trying to fuck with a nigga. But uh, this shit right here is just, this just me being me. So I don't go out, you know what I'm saying, trying to sell this shit. You know, I know it's going to bum to that one day. But uh, I don't run around trying to sell this shit. This is busy. This is me. This is who the fuck I be. You know what I'm saying? And these folks trying to offer a nigga a check for it. You know what I'm saying? So that showed me that they ain't in it for my best interest. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, that's that's kind of like the same situation right there. Straight up. Yo, 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 yo. Send that shit to me, Prince. Send that shit to me, bro. I'm going to... Um, I'ma shoot you the motherfucking email address. Send it to me. Let me let me view what that shit sounded like, bro. Straight up. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Stephanie. You know your boy Beezy. He gotta do what he gotta do. And right now, all that is all I gotta do is stay true. <laughs> he told me, and that's what I'm gonna do. You feel me? Shout out to that girl, Stephanie, man. Tell your home girl I said what's happening at three, man. For real, for real. Say this. Hey, I'm going to hold you to that shit too, Stephanie. I hear you. I'm Look, you the view, if you been, if y'all been in tune with the shit that been going on lately, a lot of motherfuckers been so called and going to pull up and ain't been showing up. <laughs> you know I'm fucking with you, Steph. You know what I'm saying, man. I know you're going to goddamn fuck with the kid. But yeah, these pussies and so-called gangsters ain't been pulling up. <sighs> That's right, Nita. That's how you're supposed to do it. Solo dolo that shit, man. You feel me? You know? It's better to have a few niggas that's very deadly than a bunch of niggas that's just worth nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's just straight sissies or some shit. For real, for real. Say this. Hey, look, look, Nita. Say this. Uh, after we get off of this... Inbox me and we gonna got them. We gonna put some shit together for real for real cuz that's what I'm on right now You know what I'm saying I've been building this brand up for the past five years I actually had a whole nother record label and a whole nother name that I was going by and everything when I was signed with DTP 19 plus years, but I've been building this brand right here ground motherfucking up for the past five years a little bit longer than that Really, but I'm counting the official years um, And you know what I'm saying I just been building it so when it's time and the spotlight was on me and it was the perfect timing a nigga got so much shit i'm gonna flood the streets like katrina type shit you know what i'm saying so now it's that time i got a bunch of videos put up got a bunch of uh mixtapes a bunch of albums uh stupid singles features um tours lined up so now it's that time to get out there and start networking and promoting so i'm definitely gonna fuck with you uh stephanie Oh shit, Stephanie, you, you know y'all good, baby. I just gave you permission. Y'all good. Y'all goo out. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Pull up on the kid. Pull up on the kid. But I'm from the show me state. I told you I'm going to hold y'all to that. You got to show me you're going to pull up. Hey, I got you, Slim. I don't know what the fuck going on with the phone right now. But, uh, yeah, I got you, Slim, straight up. I got you, my nigga. Damn. Signal bad as fuck out here. This shit still froze. 
Hey, I'm about to get off this motherfucker because it froze out, but, uh, yeah.